Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day two of our fabulous Las Vegas trip. Las Vegas. Yeah, there's. We're, we're staying up in that hotel up there on the 27th floor. So we are in Las Vegas for Jessica's 40th birthday. She took me to Disneyland. I'm taking her to Vegas. We have all the kids with us and Jessica's mom and we're having a blast. Last night we went to a Cirque show and everybody came and it was super fun. Today we're going to a buffet and tonight Bailey is giving Jessica her gift which is to take her out to the musical six. There's, there's so much going on and uh, and we're here at Treasure Island so Let's let's have a great day. Let's treasure island it stuff. Let's treasure your island and stuff. We actually just came back from getting a special meal for Teddy and Luke, and Luke was so excited about the snail in the show last night that he had me draw a bunch of snails out of stuff on his menu. So here's a couple pictures of that. Uh, that was really fun. It's so cool how, how much he enjoyed that show. I was a little worried he wasn't gonna enjoy it as much as he did, and he loved it, and he kept talking about the snail, because the finale of the show is a giant snail comes out on stage. So one of the main things we're doing today is leaving Treasure Island, walking across the way, and having brunch right here at the Wynn Hotel. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. It is toddler nap time, so Grandma Julie's gonna stay here, and uh, Luke and Teddy are also going to stay here for their nap time and we're gonna go check out the buffet. I'm very excited. This carousel is incredible. It's like, it's all made of flowers. It's it's so cool. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, it's not rideable. It would be better if it was rideable. All right. Looks like we got some smoked salmon salad, Italian antipasto salad, harvest quinoa salad and strawberry yeah. walnut salad. Jake's going for the classic Caesar. He's doing it. Fresh fruits. Bailey found the bread. I did find the bread. Got lots of cheese right here. Baked cod. Seafood risotto. Oh, Jake's getting a calamari. Yeah. A little calamari basket. That looks good. Lobster bisque. Various pizzas. Chorizo scramble. Tamales. Enchilada. Chorizo and egg tostada. Carnitas. Country biscuits and gravy. Belgian waffles, banana bread, French toast, scrambled eggs, obviously, danishes, this is shrimp and grits, hickory bacon, breakfast tater tots, sausage links, dry rubbed rotisserie chicken, high spice beef and basil, drunken noodles, and char suey pork fried rice, egg rolls, sushi bar, kimchi and edamame, poke bowls. And over here we have various seafood on ice. That is a lot of shrimp. A lot of shrimp. This is a lobster benedict. And I also got lobster bisque. I got drunken noodles. This is a piece. This is beautiful. Everything about this place is absolutely gorgeous. It's incredible. Everything tastes so good. And it's just like, it's so good. I'm planning on getting more. Well, if you want to eat lots and lots of food, Avoid the bread rolls because they are supposed to fill you up. That's what my mom said. So actually, I have no idea if that's true, but it's my mom's. I love how eclectic everybody's plate is. You've got like 
bacon and sushi. I've got sushi and salad and kimchi and drunken noodles. Oh, you finished your first plate already? I haven't even started yet. I have to show you one thing that is absolutely gorgeous. This is the tea selection. So it comes in this little fancy triangle pyramid with some honey. See how it's got the little leaf? And it will unfold. You pull it out. It's a beautiful little tea bag, and this is what's really cool. This well, it's like moldable. It will stay on your cup and not fall in. How amazing is that? And there are Dungeness Frabbling. So they're a little bit smaller. This one isn't for some reason, but most of them are pre-cut. What I loved was that there was butter already at the station. So you grab the butter. There weren't any lemon wedges that I saw, and that's kind of my recipe for crabs. I like butter, lemon wedges, and some like salt and pepper. Let's see how this opens. Oh, that's pretty good. And it's Dungeness. It's normal for them to be a little bit smaller. It's not like the king crab would like. So I just wanted to say that the spring water is like delish. I drank some and I was like, oh, oh this is yummy. I was like drinking and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. And then because it's like extra sparkly. Like, you know the spring water that you get at like a store? It's like that, but like to the extreme. I think this is Parker's first club soda. I think that's what it said on the menu. So it's okay. What's club soda? What you're drinking. Okay, I have to show you the lobster bisque because I just looked inside of it. What? What in the world? Wait, is that a shrimp? That's a shrimp. <gasps> I thought it was gonna be a whole lobster claw. All right, well, I'm glad we had that reveal together. We had that moment. I don't eat shrimp, so let me see. There has to be some lobster in here. Okay, the lobster bisque is shrimp bisque. That's the news, that's the tea. And then I found a bunch of clams. But maybe it's, I'm sure it's still great. I just kind of thought I was gonna show you a whole lobster claw right now, and it's gonna be like this amazing moment. But I really just found a bunch of shrimp and clams. Okay. It's a little bit like it's very strongly tomato soup. It does have a spicy like a heat to it. Oh wait, is this a lobster? Is this a lobster? Uh, a it's another shrimp. What? What's going on? I don't know that this is a lobster bisque. What is this? It is a chocolate pancake with chocolate chips in it, chocolate sauce, chocolate chips on the top, and sprinkles. I haven't even seen the dessert area yet. We have some marble cake, s'mores cones, assorted mousse cups, fruit tart, cheesecake, vegan chocolate cake, strawberry shortcake, petite pastry, fairy cheesecake, crepes made to order, strawberry cheesecake, salted caramel cupcake, red velvet cake, carrot cake, cake pops, gelato station with toppings, such a great time at the buffet. Everything was so delicious. I really enjoyed the smoked salmon salad. I thought that was really good. It surprised me how good it was. I enjoyed the kimchi. I thought that was really good. And the drunken noodles were really excellent. It was fun sitting and watching everybody pick out what they wanted to eat and talking to them about their food. It was just a really good family time. I absolutely love the buffet. I think my favorite part was like how wide of a selection there was. I've I don't think I've ever seen that much food in my life. And I was just like internally screaming and running around. Part of it externally. But anyways, I loved their the ice cream. I loved the mango vanilla ice cream. That was the best. That was the best part. I really liked the crab. It was really good. I at the beginning there was little crab and at the end there was not little crab. There was big crab legs. My favorite thing at the buffet was the food. I really enjoyed the food, just everything. I can't pick one. There was a whole crepe station. So like what they do with omelets, they had that and you could like 
bring your plate over and figure out what toppings you want and that was really cool. I have a favorite. <laughs> so my favorite was the coffee. It was actually called Coffee Blast ice cream. Well, I said say gelato because it was actually gelato. So really get that Coffee Blast gelato because it's really good. Like it's my favorite. I also really liked the strawberry hibiscus tea. It was really good. And there were flowers everywhere. Like I thought that was so pretty. So shout out to the small details. I obviously really appreciated the attention they gave to the tea. I know that that is not the biggest of deal, but the fact that they gave it such respect, even though it was just kind of an extra thing, um, like getting a glass of water, it felt like they cared about those little details. And I have just, I've always, like this, that's one of the big reasons why we're in Las Vegas is because I love buffets. We just went through this years long period where buffets were like really off limits and I had always dreamed of going to a Vegas buffet and I'd always dreamed of going on a cruise as well which we've still never done but it felt like in that time period like oh, oh my goodness have these things gone away will we get those experiences back and they are all coming back and it's so nice to see and I was so grateful for this opportunity that honestly there was a time when I was like man maybe that just doesn't exist anymore like maybe i won't get this chance ever again it just makes this birthday all that the more special because this was something that i've really thought about a lot and i've always dreamed of and sorry it's a little it's very dry here in las vegas which i don't know i i I, I was thinking it would be more hot. The temperature right now is actually pretty nice, but it is dry and I'm not used to it. So my lips and my voice are like getting warped. But anyway, the reason we're here is to go to some awesome buffets and to show the kids some incredible shows and we're doing it and it's amazing and it's just like all of my dreams totally have come true and it's just day one pretty much. As far as the food goes, I loved the, I don't know how you pronounce it, I think it's elote. It was it was just the corn, like the street corn, and they made it so good. I have never had it that good before. I usually get it and it, it, it tastes more just like kind of barbecued corn off the cob, but this one they just had put all the spices in just right and it was so good and that was actually my favorite thing. And the creme brulee, they had these tiny creme brulees and usually when you get like a sample creme brulee or a buffet creme brulee, like one of those tiny ones, um, the brulee part, the sugar, isn't like, it doesn't crack when you tap it with your spoon. It's just kind of soft. And I was so impressed with it because it was like the perfect creme brulee and it was just in these tiny little sample tins. Um, so I was really impressed with that. The crepe bar was definitely super cool and exactly what we've always dreamed of. You know, we love crepes. So that was really neat. And I, and I mean, crepes. <laughs> we love those so that was it, that was really fun to have that anyway it was just such a great birthday gift and I am so grateful to Christopher for setting this all up and I can't wait to see what else we have in store all right it is now time for Bailey to give Jessica her gift I'm so excited we're gonna see six <laughs> I am so excited about the show the music is amazing I have never seen it we obviously love a little history sprinkled into our musicals and I also got us really good seats. <laughs> Daytime, nighttime. Duncan, Luke, and Teddy are asleep right now. And Jessica and Bailey are watching a show, and the show is connected to the Venetian. And so Parker and Jacob and I, we're gonna wander around the Venetian and check it out. Let's go. Jacob and Parker and I went out, we had some food, we wandered around a bit, saw some gondolas, and guess who finished their play? We did. How was it? 
It was so Perfect. good. So good. It was so good. <laughs> and I got to watch Bailey the whole time being like this. <laughs> yeah, actually, after watching that, I was like, wow, I want to play every single one of these queens on She stage. wants to be every queen. <laughs> Not in real life. Not in Ever. <laughs> it's about the six wives of Henry the Eighth. They're but, telling their own story. Yes. And each of them has a song. They, they pose it as a contest of like who had the most troubles um, through song. Yes. And then they come to a grand conclusion. Nope. That we won't mention. Wait, what? No spoilers? Nobody gets to know who the best queen is. Oh. oh okay. No All right. It was so good. It was incredible and I loved it. I loved it so much. It was hilarious. It was really good. And she told me that she thinks she has a new favorite. Oh yeah, it's my favorite musical for sure. Oh wow, wow. And it was very beautiful. It was like right off the incredible. bat, they were just like sparkles. <laughs> yeah. It was all great. I don't, I don't even know how you had to see it. <laughs> see it. That's, or listen to the music. That's the lesson here. That's the lesson. Thank you for a, a perfect. You're <laughs> Well, <laughs> you hit my head pretty hard there. I did. 